one of the things that I kind of envisioned as I was trying to catch up on the three weeks is uh, after Jerome Powell's Friday discussion, which again, the market heard is I'm done and we're cutting. Correct. I I can only envision him turning from Bruce Banner into the Hulk. <laughs> right? I just imagine him coming Hulk smash. Yep. Hulk smash. Yep. 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 And listen, uh, I mean, the likelihood of him raising interest rates at the next meeting is incredibly, incredibly low. Zero, the market, but his yeah. voice is. Yep. Yeah. And, and listen, like, regardless of what his intentions really are, he, I do think that he's going to come out and smack the market. And I think that anything outside of like this soft white glove touch is going to be foreseen as him smacking the market. And uh, to my point in, you know, one of the prior episodes that we've done here is, Right now, you have this technical trend higher in prices right now because all these institutional managers are buying the cash off their books. So maybe it doesn't come home to roost right away. But as we enter into January, when they're not window dressing their portfolios to have clients think they've been fully invested the entire year and things come back to moderation and we start to trade on fundamentals again, there's no way you can look at the market and say, again, 12% earnings growth price in the stocks right now, simultaneously five interest rate cuts. It just doesn't make any sense for any logical person to think that. You don't have to know that much about economy, you know, markets and, and macro economies and this. Those two things don't make sense at the same time, but they're currently both being priced in. So at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I sit here December 4th. I have no idea. Because one of the things that I do every year is on January 1st or 2nd is I make a call just to see what happens. I can tell you right now today, I have no idea what to call. No idea. I, You know, gun to me. I, I shouldn't say it. The violent terms don't go over well these days. Uh, you know, if you're squeezing my arm and twisting it behind my back, I think that probably the most likely scenario that plays out is the one that's not being priced right now, and that's recession. Um, I think it's more likely than inflation. I do think inflation is largely behind us. But again, things, little market events can spark things. And uh, things that are unforeseeable can spark things. And that could cause inflation. Um, but I think recession is just the most logical camp to be in. Uh, because of where we're coming from, from an inflationary standpoint, because of the GDP slowdown that seems to be foreseeable in the future right now, um, I think that's probably the most logical. But I'm not willing to say I'm incredibly confident in that. But I am confident in the fact that I look at markets right now and say that they're likely ahead of themselves. That is something yeah. I'm relatively comfortable in saying. I think that's fair. Taylor, you put out a lot of amazing stuff. In fact, you tackled this topic today. Uh, where can people find it? Yeah, find it at Life Goal Investments. We're on both Instagram and on TikTok. Much shorter form content than this, obviously. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you, man.